Hey gang, Rip here. I want to welcome you to another episode of Snackables, where we chew on all things food, especially plant strong food. While I was in Cleveland a couple weeks ago for Thanksgiving, I was able to wrangle up two of my absolutely favorite women, my sister Jane and my mother Anne. I'm sure that you guys are well acquainted with this dynamic duo. And we had a quick conversation about our holiday meals. And as I know you can imagine, it was complete and utter mayhem in the best possible way, of course. Even though we're talking about our Thanksgiving meal in this episode, the dishes and recipes are great for any holiday. In fact, we've created a complimentary holiday guide with 11 mouthwatering recipes to help you prepare an incredibly delicious, whole food, plant-strong meal holiday. Visit the show notes for the link or hop into our free community at community.planstrong.com to download the guide today. You'll meet thousands of people just like you willing to lend a hand of support and encouragement, especially during the holiday season. Now, let's herd the cats. I mean, start the show with Anne and Jane. Okay, hey everybody. Hey, welcome to another episode of Snackables, where we chew on all things food, specifically plant-based food. As you can see, I'm here with two very, very special guests, two of my favorite women uh, in my life. My sister Jane, here on my right, and on my left, my mother Anne. And this, of course, is in the absence of Jessica Hegarty, who's off on maternity leave, who usually joins me. And in her absence, we have had both Brenda Reed and Amy Mackey, who have done spectacular jobs. I love the snackable little quips. They've had so many good ideas. Yeah, they're fun. They're a lot of fun. And I want to, while I have the chance to rein in Jane and Anne, I want to talk about like what Thanksgiving looks like for the Esselstons. Uh, we've been here now. This is our third night, third dinner. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. And uh, for starters, I'd love to just talk about what we've done for dinner the last two nights. Uh, you want to start with the, the rice and beans extravaganza? We had rice and beans the first night. And um, yes. I didn't cook the kale correctly. Rip has a special way of no, doing it. No, that was it. yesterday. Oh. Two days ago. Oh. Two, day, two days ago, we did the rice and beans extravaganza, a family favorite. And what were some of the toppings that we laid out along with the rice and the uh, beans? Wait, I can tell you because Jane wasn't here for that. I, did I, you? I, I was the night before. She. Yeah, all these nights <laughs> so running <crazy>. together. <laughs> but it was brown rice black beans they were cooked from scratch amazing there were 10 people that ate them and there was just one serving left and then it was chopped tomatoes frozen corn thawed chopped um, green onions we had mangoes oh mango that's they were the key. Best. mango it's key mango and there was more oh we had green beans and broccoli and then guacamole, a lo loads of guacamole, and pasta salsa. Yep. Yeah. And, and then we, yeah, and then also we had what kind of bread did you serve? Oh, we had black Russian bread. Yeah. That happens to be a favorite of Jane's daughter, Kryle. So, What's so cool about that bread is it's not just this brown bread that it's actually black. It, but, but what makes it black is they coffee. do something. Well, it's no. But what they do is they roll the bread before it's cooked in a layer of poppy seeds. So it looks black because it's like this it's almost like sandpaper texture. That's a, not a very good culinary word. But it's just this pure poppy seeds on this black bread. So it's intense. Yeah. Anyway, it's the kind of meal that everybody can find something that they like. Well, that, and that's the thing about rice and beans extravaganza is we lay it out in a huge buffet. You go through, you customize it. It's one of the things that, I mean, I think that we as a family do with so many different creations, whether it's the baked potato and, bar. And you know the cool thing is 
that we couldn't decide. We had had a couple of nights of all the family, and we thought, okay, we'll just eat out. Well, you know, not eat out, but order out or whatever. And then I decided, no, we're going to have rice and beans. So I put that together in just a few hours. I mean, what I, my point is that it's really easy to do that kind of almost at the last minute. As well, we did. You say, but, but it didn't take you a couple hours, did it? Well, just all day. well, be, beans, well, beans from scratch do take yeah. some time. And, yeah, and 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 that pot that you use for the beans, it's wh- great. Where did you get that from? You know, a patient said that it was the most amazing pot, pot and it was a long time ago, and I have no idea who it was. Well, but I thank them so it, much because it's just the coolest thing. It, and it's very, it's very handsome pot yeah. for sure. Um, and then one of the things that was a lot of fun that we've been doing. Um, and Jane, if you haven't been here the last two nights. <laughs> well, can we talk about my night? Or- <laughs> well, yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But, <laughs> you know, it's funny. I'm, I'm just thinking about oh, it. But Jane was gone two nights picking up children at college. Yeah. And so but before I left, it, I made a Jane, feast. Wait, wait, and I don't Jane, think we're going to talk about no, it. No, <laughs> we are. Wait a minute. We, we are, have but you have to fight for your right <laughs> to express yourself. Okay. So you're right. But here's the thing. We were traveling. We just gotten in, I think. So anyway, yes, you delivered. And I made them a feast when they traveled. They just you, landed in. You did. And so, what was that feast? Oh, it was the, it was the <laughs> feast. Don't start of feeling all. sorry uh, for yourself. I, no, like, no, no, tell no. us what it was. No, I'm not feeling sorry. You said the last two nights. And I'm like, okay, that's, I was three nights ago. I guess we're gonna. Anyway, Come on, don't shrivel, I, I, don't shrivel I, I, up on me. I'm not shriveling up at all. I'm so proud. It's my favorite meal. I'm totally proud about it, and I post about it all the time. It is awesome. It's. The, the feature of it is this black rice ramen noodles made by Lotus Foods, and it's called Forbidden Ramen, Forbidden Black Ramen. It's, I, uh, those words are in there somewhere. So it's really easy to make that at the last minute. And before they came, um, I made the two sauces I love that go on that, which is a Thai peanut sauce and a lemon tahini sauce. So those were done like the day before. You cook the noodles right there at the moment. So all I had to do was I used, um, I wanted to make a colorful sort of, very sort of Asian agreeable uh, profile, sort of uh, purple cabbage, kale, and onions and as the warm. Of last minute, she took and the cabbage from our house literally about half an hour before we ate. And so then, it was and then they had a huge salad. To I mean, an enormous salad. So it was this great feast. Salad. And again, like Rip said, everybody or you said, some, everyone can find yeah. um, something to eat or some way to put it together. And oh, and a tofu! My gosh. Yeah, tofu, no. tofu, 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 tons of tofu, cubed tofu, baked, um, not really teriyaki tofu, but sort of mild. And then you also, did you <gasps> did you have daikon radishes somewhere in there too? Yes. What's so amazing is that we have a neighbor here on Pepper Ridge who their garden is so prolific. And he'd arrived at my front door with like six of these enormous, huge, muddy daikon radishes. I rinsed them and there were all these beautiful white long um, daikon radishes. So I put some daikon radish in the salad along with like uh, romaine and collards and, toasted and almonds. And, oh, I know. I put those in yeah. for you. My mom could eat the whole... I had to hide them from her once I toast and them. And then what were the two sauces that you made? The Thai, the Thai peanut I, and the lemon tahini. Yeah, yeah. And those can... You spill them on your on your noodles and then they kind of go on your salad as well. But the salad was um, dressed with a dressing coming up in our new book. Well, it was... It, 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 anyway, oh, it was speaking of the new book, <gasps> the dessert. Oh my god! Which dessert did we have? Oh, <gasps> oh you, my god! Oh my god. Bra- it was amazing. Out of sight brownies. They were Essie's out favorite. Of sight. The Essie's favorite. Out of sight. Um, but we want to get to your night. You wanted to talk about Mac and Cash, I think. Well, actually, no. I'm just t- let's just talk about all the nights <laughs> so far. But so yes. So yeah. forgive me, please. The first night was a feast at Jane's house. Oh. And just so you know, Jane actually lives just through about a hundred feet of woods. On the other side is Jane's house. So this is so neat the way Ann and Essie are here. Jane and Brian are right over there. And so we had the feast at Jane's house the first night. Then the last two nights have been here at Ann and Essie's. We had the rice and beans extravaganza. And then last night... We had this huge mac and cash that uh, that I made with Anne. Oh God, my we went, God! We it were... was one disaster. <laughs> well, after the other. 
Yeah. What yeah. happened? Yeah. I wasn't yeah. there. Well, it what started. It, it started it, it, because it, you it, like what is that fancy thing you like? Uh, we love making stuff yeah. in a Vitamix. Well, I don't like the Vitamix. It's too hard. Shh, mommy. I just it's Cleveland a Company. Nice, what? It's, it's a, a Cleveland Company. The Vitamix. Well, I mean, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. But it's I, you had. This, I have an old old one. I don't have a. I don't have. You guys I have, have one a Cuisinart. Probably, no, my my, what is it called? It's a Cuisinart. Vitamix. No, my Vitamix <laughs> is probably fifteen years old. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Fine. It's Five. Still, those things run like a champ. But the the the, but, I mean, the Cuisinart. Is, You've got to get it positioned just right. You've got to lock it in. Otherwise, it doesn't go. So Rip didn't lock it in. Uh, no. He filled it to the top. <laughs> and then suddenly, we had literally juice all over the counter, oh, running down onto oh, the no. floor. Oh, it's because the thing, it was the, the, not, blade, the blade was not set in right. And it was right. not stopping. I didn't think so to we had make to take sure the blade the pan, was in. And we had to take the pan, <laughs> catch the drippings. I mean, it was a sort of a disaster. Well, it started that way. And, and, then we had to make a, and then we had to make several batches of the sauce, which is such a critical component of it but really it is oh, it, it is uh, right it, and then when we had just finished cleaning <laughs> up the mess the what? pasta started over boiling well, and there was water pouring out yes. all but you learn to stove. roll with everything that's the key here <laughs> right and so but the thing about this mac and cash is it is a, this it's cashews it's roasted red bell peppers it's lemon juice it's um, a combination of, oh, before you do anything. Nutritional it, yeast. It's four huge onions that are caramelized. It's nutritional yeast. It's garlic powder, onion powder, and then some curry powder. And then we also throw in broccoli oh, yeah. with the noodles, mix it all up, and then we throw it in the oven for about uh, 25 minutes at, what, 400? And everything's brown. Anyway, it's a great... It looks so delicious. It's just hearty and delicious, yeah. And then we had leftover. We had a leftover salad from the night before. We had um, we had we had peas. Oh yeah, we, we had the, peas. Actually, they were really really good with the mac and cash. The little baby. Yeah. Um, yeah. There was just frozen peas. peas. Yeah, frozen. And peas then we also good. had you made a big old barrel of of kale. Kale. Uh, that you threw in and basically and, and, bo- and Rip, boiled. Rip didn't like the way I did it, so he <laughs> How is going you to do make it? kale his way uh, for dinner tonight. Yeah. So I, I just like, I don't like boiling it to death for five to six minutes. I think that, that you're... That's not to death. I like to boil it until it is tender <laughs> like 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 a hearty spinach. Uh-huh. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's I like, the death of the kale. <laughs> I, I, yeah, so we, we're in agreement here. You agree? Well, no, well, to, go ahead. <laughs> anyway, I like, I like doing a quick... A qu- <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> you sure? <laughs> this is really turning into a comedy of errors, but we're going to roll with it. Um, no, I like doing a quick blanch of the kale or a quick saute, literally just no more than two, two and a half minutes. Um, <laughs> so you keep all the nitrates in there. As opposed to basically murdering them to death, but let's let's keep moving. So one of the things that we've been doing, and Jane, you you've been gone for this, but the last two nights, Anne pulled out this game from I think one of the sheds somewhere, and it's called. Um, oh, and well, you pick a. No, what's it called? I don't know. <laughs> yes, you do. I don't. I've never looked at the name. There's it's little, called Conversations to Go. Okay. And you, there's a little box, and you just pick it out. And so it, no, last night... you pick out a piece of paper, and there's about 75 pieces of paper, and each one has a different topic, these tantalizing, uh, basically, questions for everybody to go around the table, and everybody answers the question. The first night, Hope, your, Rip's uh, yeah. seven-year-old, uh, pulled out <clears throat> what was about an athlete. An athlete... Can you talk to the... An athlete that you admire and why. And so that started a great conversation around the table. And then the next night, somebody, Brian, picked out someone, how about somebody you're thankful for mm-hmm. and why? Yeah. And the why is really a key little addition. That's perfect yeah. for Thanksgiving. And it's amazing how if you've got. But se- from seven, from no. seven no, it's years cr- old until no, seven, seven to, seven to eight, 87. 88, almost. <laughs> Uh, seven to eight. <laughs> I'm not talking about seven you. Seven to eighty-seven. Seven to eighty-seven, and and 
literally we had just those two questions and we spent an hour and a half to two hours just kind of ruminating well, about, well, about, yeah. about the question about if you, um, who are you thankful for and why? And the second question was, what is your greatest fear? And, and guess why? what? Rip wouldn't t- answer that because you didn't want it to come true. Well, I, 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 was, I didn't want to voice my biggest fear because I didn't want to put it out there yeah. into the universe. Uh, it's just, yeah, I agree. I felt a little w- wigged out by it. So let's move on. But, wait, so, but, but, <laughs> hope, but Hope's greatest fear was, was the cat under her bed. <laughs> right. <laughs> I yeah. don't want to have cats under my bed either. Yeah. Uh, so what are we doing for Thanksgiving? It's tomorrow. What are we going to do? And let's try and empower people to have a great plant strong Thanksgiving. Okay. Well, we've actually been working on that for a little bit. We did a, uh, a one day sort of cooking, getting your head, heart, and hands wrapped around plant-based nutrition for the holidays or plant-based eating for the holidays. And that was all about, um, and kind of in my eyes, I designed it around Thanksgiving. So we... We love the question like, oh, what do you guys do for Thanksgiving since you don't eat turkey? And I, I feel like thinking, have you been blind to every Thanksgiving you've been to? Like, one of the dishes is the turkey, and then there's a gazillion others. So we make stuffing, but we don't use the turkey juice, uh, which is actually lymph. Um, isn't that awful to think of? We use um, broth, some of the plant-strong broths. Um, we use... Uh, I'm sorry, we make stuffing, we make mashed potatoes. My mom gets on this big stool and she just pounds it all down herself. It's awesome. And we make cranberry <laughs> salsa and uh, just great mushroom gravy that's been in our family for a long time. My mom has made it. It's called Mommy's Mushroom Gravy. And, it's and now- this year, I am so excited because into the Mommy's Mushroom Gravy is going to go the mushroom Broth. Oh, oh, broth. The shiitake mushroom broth, yeah. Oh, and plant strong speaking mushroom of broth. mushrooms, we also did this wonderful thing. It's called an oyster mushroom roast. And we take oyster mushrooms, which are these beautiful, like almost like mm. little bear ears, those little ears, and we marinate them, put them on skewers, and, and then roast them over these uh, sliced onions. It is delicious, and it turns into this solid, almost roast-like thing. It has this texture and the color of a roast. Um and it's wild but it doesn't taste like it well, well the marinade is fantastic so i that's it, and it that is, was that was an invention of polly right? Poly, and there's a, we have a youtube of polly doing it yeah and it's it's been a polly, smash polly is the wife of my younger brother zeb our sister-in-law yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, of course there's all kinds of desserts to oh, go with no, thanksgiving no, wait or go ahead and then we have this huge platter of all different kinds of vegetables because this happens to be a broccoli group we're going to have a lot of broccoli we're going to have some asparagus we're going to have some some uh, brussels, brussels sprouts. sprouts that we i hope are, are cooking right now and we can have some on the, tomorrow and then we'll have, like have a sliver a sl- sliced red peppers some carrots and then in the center is a walnut sauce which is just divine but what i like about this is we have it out so people all sort of afternoon can be sort of having this as hors d'oeuvres and it's it's cool yeah and and are we gonna have and you're gonna you're making a salad we're making i'm making a salad i'm gonna make a potato dish brussels every sprouts. single person in our family everyone has to contribute something yeah. even if it's like making um a, a, you know, an apple pie with some a sibling or a, not a sibling, a cousin or whoever. But everybody has to contribute. We're not clear on all the desserts right yet. Yeah, but, we're not. But uh, we gonna... Sophie is making gingerbread, and your your girls, Jane, I know are amazing. At One of our favorite things to make, though, and I like around the holidays, is this um, sort of baked apple crisp. Mm-hmm. And it's, but I have to make the apples alone and bake them down and then make the crisp on its own because there's no oil so you sort of combine it on your plate so that way the crispy part stays crisp and the apple stays appley and are we doing any store-bought pies no 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 store-bought pies in in, in austin we've got all kinds of Vegan pumpkin and apple and well, berry pies. That's kind of complicated because sometimes they sometimes we've they... had so many meals this every day that you've been here that I think we're going to have well, a room well, maybe well, we'll get. Well, one the tricky thing about those pies is oftentimes to have like a pie crust texture. They use some saturated oils and fats, mm-hmm. and you just it, it's hard to get away. It's hard to steer around that sometimes. 
What about, are, are we going to do any kind of those tofurkeys or vegan uh, veggie roasts? I, I, no I, have not, I've been, I have not been shopping. I've been on the road getting college kids. Mm -hmm. It's not something Jane, that, in your freezer is a tofurkey, which I never Our eat, kids love that. But Thank you for getting that. But children like it, and yeah. I got it for, because yeah. that was the well, thing that Kryle was going to cook. I just want people to know that but I think we, people we, have to be really careful about too many of the well, vegan yeah. junk foods. Yeah, but to me, Thanksgiving is a time when if you want to do the tofurkeys and the, 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 the vegetable roast and some of the vegan pies. I, and, oh, my gosh. And there are so many different kinds of tofurkeys that I couldn't decide. Oh, really? I haven't Holy seen. Holy crow. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out yeah. which one would be Which good. is actually pretty exciting that the space is exploding that much and there's that many different varieties. Mm -hmm. and, but, of course, we all know that you, know, you have to be very judicious and read labels and, <clears throat> and read the ingredients, especially if you've got heart disease. Well, well, diabetes rip. the problem is if you read the ingredients you would almost buy nothing <laughs> i understand it was already prepared yeah. yes i am i'm not so, only i'm not only referring to thanksgiving i'm thinking about thanksgiving and beyond but mm -hmm. yes um so anyway we are all can't wait and, and it'll be so much fun to see what some of these kids that have just arrived back from college are going to create for us yeah, yeah. um because since as jane said everybody has to bring something well, you know, so I've been I've been posting um, just the last couple of days about us having these great family feasts and just kind of the great family love. And so many people have expressed how you know they wish that they had a family that would embrace this lifestyle more, and they feel so lonely. And I'm wondering if you guys have any advice for somebody that doesn't have the kind of the support uh, and the foundation that we do. Well, I would just say, really, there's all kinds of things that are out there that actually, you don't need to label it plant-based. Like, you can bring Brussels sprouts mm -hmm. to their, uh, and you can bring a, a tray of stuffing. And don't say, like, it's vegan, it's plant-based, and label, 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 just it's a contribution. Um, I mean, it's helpful if you have people who are aiming to eat that way. Um, but I just think there's always room to for everybody to bring what they want to have want to share want to make want to you know feast on and they actually i also always argue that we eat more plants than we realize sometimes i mean i know i'm veering off thanksgiving here but like people eat pasta and red sauce yeah they may add meatballs and stuff but you know the core is we all eat that people kind of eat oatmeal and what they put on it they veer off so hang in there you actually probably have more in common than and not maybe not i don't know and i think uh, your question also was implying people that don't have a support family system. A support system and one of the things that we've done quite often is invited people that um don't have a support system to come and join us and that's always nice it's a little difficult these last two years and i mm -hmm. this year and last year and i feel very sorry for those people who ha had to be alone for this, their health. Yeah. But um, if if you can, do invite people that you know are alone to come and join you. And uh -huh. even if you're alone, ask a couple of other people. And yeah. You'll have fun. Or invite yourself to to a, a family that you uh, would love to be a part of for Thanksgiving or Christmas. I actually smell the Brussels sprouts. Jane I, has I, got um, an un. Do you have any boiling what sense of smell? Yeah, no, I, I smell them too. Oh, so I, I, did you know what's cooking? No, 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 no. no. I know. <laughs> you know, it's the cauliflower. Yes, Rip has Brussels sprouts, and I have cauliflower steaks cooking. And you should see the <laughs> wait a minute. You should see the table. The table tonight is gorgeous. It is. And I, it, it's I'll so take beautiful. a photo and we'll put it in the show notes. You've got to take a, just a photo of the table. I will. Because your girls have gone crazy because there are these different colored napkins around over the plates and they are all trying to decide which napkin they want <laughs> and then who is going to be the, the color napkin on the place next to them. Yeah. And it is a riot. Well, you have done such a, an amazing job setting the standard by setting the table with these beautiful plates and tablecloths and 
you know, the candles and no. everything's just right. The champion yeah. place setting was Jane's house the, three nights ago. Well, well, we she, have amnesia about that three, three nights ago, apparently. I so actually, I actually, it's not being discussed. That's not true. I took a photo. I posted about it. I was very fond of it all. But, but anyway, Anne, you really have set the bar very high for it all. Indeed. So before these, these let's go get these Brussels sprouts and the cauliflower. Yes. But before we do... I want Jane, you, you go first, and then Anne. What do you have going on right now that is super exciting that you want to share with our, our audience? I am just excited to not be driving. I just drove 16 hours in a day and a half, and I'm psyched to not do that. But um, I am working on getting the details of the um, annual March event, which is an event for women, and... I'm getting that all dialed in for March 12th, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we are going to be able to uh, ha have our camp for plant-based women warriors this summer again. For two years, we haven't had it, but we need to get the okay from the college where we rent the space. So I'm, that's what I'm looking forward to mostly. No, what and about your book? I'm getting there. I'm going month by month. And the third and most exciting thing is that my mom and I have just finished and handed in and finished the final edits on our next cookbook. And it's, I don't want to say the title because the title the cover is actually kind of still. Mm, oh, but wait it's till you see gorgeous. the cover. The cover, I, I don't think I've ever seen a book with, I don't think so. Well, okay. Such the, a beautiful. The Brussels sprouts, cover. I smell them. But they're, they're it's, okay. it's a, it's, Plant, it's we'll a be, mom and mom and daughter more, thing. More, Can more, you more, not more, tell the title? More, I, no, because they might change. More to come. Nobody's going to change. More to come time. on that. We hope not. And then, Anne, what are you? What are you excited I, about? Rip. Well, I'm excited about what Jane said. <laughs> I'm excited actually to make sure that everybody, everybody, has oats for breakfast, <laughs> and that everybody eats breakfast. Because if you don't eat breakfast, yeah. you screw up the meals that you're eating that day. So eat breakfast and make sure it is some kind of oats. And the best breakfast of all is my breakfast. <laughs> all right, the, I, I think it's my it's breakfast. It's burning. It's burning. It's, it, it, it's, so we'll, we're going to go get it. But hey, every, Jane, uh, Jane so and... So Jane's nose says that something's burning. And, <laughs> Jane and Anne, I want you to know how grateful I am for both of you. It's great to be here for Thanksgiving. Jane, yeah. thanks for insisting that we come uh, here. Yes. We're so glad that we came. It's always... So hard to get the whole gang together, get the airline tickets, yes, and, and yes, get here, yes. but we did. The other brothers didn't show up. Yeah. No, they didn't show up because they weren't invited. We disinvited everybody for Thanksgiving. Without telling me. And then we, we changed, Jane changed <laughs> our minds and invited Rip, and he had to sort of stay isolated because of COVID. So he, I'm anyway. scared about these Brussels sprouts. We're all good. No, We're all no good. they're good. So everybody, <clears throat> with that... Um, wait, wait, I have to say one thing. That Rip, you have been amazing. You have yes. been our leader of food, of everything. Events, Excitement, food events, line, enthusiasm. And you have made such a difference. It's just, well, I'm we, it's It's teamwork. It's the ultimate teamwork. It truly is. All right, you guys, get out there. Have a great Thanksgiving, teamwork. Christmas. And um, Jane and Ann, I'll see you guys in hopefully 2022. Yep. Have a great holiday. Okay. And sorry for this crazy little... <laughs> What is yeah. this? Snackable? Yes, yeah. Snackables episode. Yes, yeah, Snackables. Yes. Love it. Bite size. The bite size podcast. This is, this is not this is Where we chew on all things plant based. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Peace Engine 2. Keep it plant strong. Plant strong. Oh. Plant strong. Wait. It's okay. <laughs> well, that was a entertaining behind the scenes look at my family. And uh, by the way, those Brussels sprouts were perfect, not burned in the least. As you've heard, we've got plenty to be thankful for and much to look forward to in the new year. One of my favorite takeaways from today's show, invite a friend along with you. Find that buddy, share in the spirit and the taste of a wonderful plant strong season. And don't forget, grab those free holiday recipes at the link in the show notes or by hopping into our free community at community.planstrong.com. Thanks for listening. And from the nutty Esselstyn family, we hope you have a wonderful holiday season.